Would you please stand? So I come out and... Would you please be seated? You're my sun, my moon, my guiding star, my kind of wonderful, that is what you are. What better way to begin the celebration of love and marriage than with these words? Welcome everyone to Waiheke Island and especially to the stunning location here at the Mudbrick Vineyard. This afternoon, with the sparkling waters of the Hauraki Gulf in the background, or to the side, we will share with Karen and Terry one of the most important moments in their loving relationship here in this incredible setting, which they have chosen as the place to pledge their wedding vows. Surrounded now by those who play an important role in their lives, they would like to acknowledge the journey you have all made from both far away and closer to home. They hope you will share this day with affection, making many more new amazing memories. After all, some of you have come from England, Australia, Canada, and from around New Zealand. So with being invited to a beautiful island in the South Pacific, well, how could you not say, yes, we will be there? They thank you sincerely for walking with them every step of the way through their relationship unselfishly supporting, encouraging, and loving them as they made their significant changes in both their lives and their own, yours and their own. Without you always in their hearts and minds, they would not be the successful people they are today. Here now, they are not only uniting their lives in marriage, but also that of both their families who have always been an integral and vital part of their lives. For those who deserve a very special mention, I do this on behalf of Karen and Terry. Sadly missing this afternoon is Adrian Young, Terry's cousin who passed away unexpectedly in July 2016. Not only a much loved family member, he was to both of them a lovely man with whom they shared a very special friendship. Adrian surrounds us today in spirit and remains firmly in our hearts and minds 
thought of with love by those here who knew him. Karen and Terry believe marriage is about commitment, being there for each other in good times and the not so good, setting a standard, providing a happy, loving home where their children can flourish and grow, and where family and friends are always welcome. For them, it is also about love and trust, desire, loyalty and ambition, about laughter and joy, having fun and enjoying all that life has to offer. They will ensure that their marriage forms a circle of love which will encompass and include their whole family and many special friends. They understand that marriage is not only about marrying the right person, it is being the right person. This commitment today is their commitment for life, and it is very special for them that their children are witnesses to the ceremony and celebration, where they will now confirm the importance of their love and the respect they share. With Karen's spiritual beliefs, the quote from the alchemist, Palo Quila, so I love you because the entire universe conspired to help me find you, is indeed so very true for them both. After months of emailing, I was delighted to finally meet Karen and Terry for the first time just six days ago and was immediately struck by their glowing love for each other, absolute sense of fun and wonderful family spirit. Because Terry thought I looked very familiar, we discussed people and places back home in the UK. As I come from the same area as his family, it seems there just could possibly be a tenuous connection. It is, as we all know, a very small world. Although Karen and Terry's story began almost 17 years ago in 2001, some of you may not know about the spark that ignited this relationship which has led us all to this destination today. A wine bar called The in Peterborough, England, <laughs> their home county, set the scene when Karen and her friend out on a girls' night spotted Terry as he walked past. Now, looking somewhat handsome in a suit, having attended a friend's wedding earlier, Karen was secretly pleased when he stopped to talk. She found him chatty and friendly, but initially wasn't that interested. At that point, anyway. And that was until during the conversation a little later when he returned. He took Karen's hand, and as you can see, he didn't let it go. A very disarming move, she thought at the time. Karen told me his charm and sheer dogged persistence did eventually get her attention, and of course, with her interest, even though he didn't quite measure up in height of the six-foot guy she had previously <laughs> envisaged she wanted. Moving on to a nightclub together, she remembers Terry telling someone he was going to put a ring on her finger as soon as possible. Apparently, this wasn't just the beer talking that night, as he had a similar conversation with a work colleague a few days later, saying he'd met someone he could marry. Now, given it took, an, took an, a very long engagement to finally reach this point in time, Terry's initial quick start chat-up line could probably have done with today's company policy slogans a long time ago. Their elevated access website advertising states, doing nothing is no longer an option. <laughs> and don't wait until it's too late. Hmm. The good news for Karen was when Terry finally took them to heart. She was happy. Mm, I did wonder which of them thought up those words until Karen enlightened me. She said Terry wrote them himself. Well, all I can say is perhaps he should have taken his own advice much earlier. When Terry's love of surfing and travel had him spending time travelling around the world, Karen often was left back home in the UK and soon realised no one could ever take his place in her life which was proven with the birth of their darling son, Phoenix, in October, <laughs> in October 2004. Eight months later, as a family of three, they travelled for the first time together to New Zealand. Now, Terry had previously discovered the delights of this country and already decided it offered greater opportunities and was the place to live. Karen had happily agreed to the journey to see how she would feel about making the huge move on a permanent basis from one side of the world to the other. Well, she fell completely in love with the Kiwi lifestyle, as much as she was with Terry. 
And so 2005 became the year of future planning. Hewers Hut, Newquay, Cornwall, 2007. Had Terry's sense of fun and adventure motivate Karen to climb a hill beside him to whale watch? A sheer fabrication, of course. But with champagne secretly hidden earlier in the day and a romantic proposal on bended knee on top of the hill overlooking the ocean, well, for Karen, this was very much made up for for not seeing anything blowing bubbles in the distance. She wasn't thinking much about whales at all when she eagerly said yes and celebrated in style as they toasted the future with their own bubbles. Returning to New Zealand in 2008, they rented for a few years until buying their first home in 2012. And here, they welcomed their beautiful baby daughter, Rainbow. And she came into their world just 10 months later. With her birth, their little family was complete, the children being a centrally important and interesting, intrinsic part of their whole lives. Starting their own business elevated access on Terry's 38th birthday, December 1st, 2014. Now, I just mentioned the date in case anyone forgets next year. <laughs> the final step in their great New Zealand adventure was when Terry, Phoenix and Karen proudly took New Zealand citizenship in 2016 in the country they love and are proud to call home. That same year, after Adrian's sudden passing, Terry and Karen, along with Karen's parents, Terry and David, purchased his beautiful 40-foot sailing yacht, Pekero, and have since enjoyed many adventures on the ocean. Adrian would have been delighted, I'm sure, that his family are getting so much pleasure from something he himself loved with a passion. Before they take their vows, I should ask if any of you have any reason why they should not be married to speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> but before you do, may I just say, they have asked me to remind everyone you've had 10 years to speak up. <laughs> and there will be plenty of free drink and food flowing after the ceremony. <laughs> if you remain silent. Now, as we all know, today is Valentine's Day, and an old legend there, of course, are many different versions of how it has progressed into modern society. These interesting theories include beheadings. Now, that's not likely to be a great cause for giving your loved one a heart-shaped chocolate or sending the anonymous Be My Valentine's Day card now, is it? But there is also a conventional and much nicer belief that originated in Europe during the Middle Ages that as birds choose their life partners in February, so thus it was dedicated as a day especially to love and romance, which through the years has become celebrated with the writing of love letters and sending small gifts. Now rumour has it that in 1415, the very first ever Valentine's card was sent by Charles Duke of Orleans when he was imprisoned in the Tower of London. Now, don't worry, though. According to history books, he actually got to keep his head and lived to send another 50 cards. Enough about old history. Let's make some new history. I ask now, who gives this woman to be married to this man? <laughs> Karen and Terry, I am required to ask, do you come freely and without reservation in the presence of your children, family and friends to enter into marriage, giving yourself only unto each other from now until eternity? Thank you. I will now ask you to take your, make your vows. Uh, yeah. Are you not mic'd? Okay. Oh, yeah, I think I am mic'd. I'd be okay, I think. Okay. I couldn't read it off the other ones. <laughs> Karen Tracy Williams, you look absolutely amazing. I'm not surprised either. <laughs> it doesn't surprise me at all. Karen, within 10 minutes of us meeting for the very first time, I knew you were something very special. Although I never just knew, just, although I never knew just how special you would become to me. The night we met, you looked stunning with your shiny black hair, your sparkly brown eyes, and a smile that made me smile, and a face so pretty I couldn't stop staring. The moment I reached out and held your left hand, that very first night, I knew you were someone I wanted to get to know more about. 
17 years and two beautiful children later, you still amaze me with your intellect. You inspire me with your never given attitude and your beauty mesmerizes me. It was your external beauty that first attracted me to you, but it's your inner beauty that I fell for and keep falling for every day. Karen, you've done so much for me. You've helped me to see and nurture my own abilities. You've encouraged me to take risks that I would never have dared to take if it wasn't for your positivity and your belief in me. You have motivated me to keep me going when the going got tough, but most of all, you've made me believe in myself. Karen, I feel very lucky and very proud to be standing here today. You're sexy, you're intelligent, and you're fun. And you're sexy. I only printed that once. And you're, oh yeah, sorry. You are the one I was meant to be with. You are my soulmate. Very soon I'll be reaching out for your left hand again. And this time I will be putting a ring on that finger and make you my wife. I promise to always love and respect you. I promise to be faithful and I promise to always care and protect you and our children. I promise to give you the freedom to follow your own passions and your own dreams. I promise to always be there when you need me. Karen, just as the seasons will change from summer to winter, there will always be good times and bad. I will always be there to support you and love you no matter what. Together, we will achieve our goals. Together, we will raise our children into two amazing adults. We will enjoy each other's conversation. We'll, we'll enjoy each other's silence. We will follow our dreams and build a wonderful life together. We will happily grow old together while, whilst watching our own grandchildren play. We will always love each other and continually work on ourselves and on our relationship to ensure that we let love grow. Karen, I love you and I'll always be here to hold your hand. Oh, I better do that because that's a legal bit, isn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so I, Terry Tibbetts, take you, Karen Tracy Williams, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish so long as we both, both shall live. I feel like I should give you a hug or something. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Terry Tibbetts, you and I are an incredible team. And as we go forward together from today as a married couple, I know that we shall continue to be greater than the sum of our parts. Do I get the microphone? <laughs> I promise that I will always be here for you, to be your best friend and your partner through life. I promise that I will be your rock and your soft place to fall. I will be your loyal supporter and your biggest champion. I will support you in your endeavours and do everything in my power to help you achieve your goals. I will take notice of the things which matter to you and make them important to me too. I will lift you up when you are down and joyously celebrate the highs of all of your successes with you. On the rare occasions that you are right, <laughs> I will try to swallow my pride and admit it. <laughs> I will recognize and acknowledge your strengths and will not be afraid to ask for your help and advice when you are the best man for the job. I will build you up and not tear you down. I will not hold back in giving you compliments and praise when they are due. And I will try to make sure that any criticism is constructive and given in a positive manner. I will have willing ears when you need me to listen and to, to speak kindly and gently when you need me to talk. I promise to look for the positives in every situation and to see the silver lining rather than the cloud, even if it rains on our wedding day. <laughs> Great timing. <laughs> <laughs> to smile often, to laugh readily, and to try to be slow to anger. 
I promise to treasure the memories of all our amazing times together, both in the past and yet to come, to forgive quickly, apologize readily, and not to harbor any grudges. I will try my best to be a calm and positive influence for you and for our children, and to ensure a loving and peaceful home for us all. You are a wonderful and very special man, and I will treat you with the respect, understanding, and love which you truly deserve. I am so proud and happy to be standing here today with you by my side. <laughs> I love you with all my heart and soul, and I cannot even begin to imagine my life without you in it. And so I, Karen Tracy Williams, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Take you, Terry Tibbetts, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Through the boring stuff, <laughs> to love and to cherish so long as we both shall live. <laughs> now, having been engaged for ten, almost 10 years, I think you'll all agree, it's long past time that Kerry, uh, Terry... <laughs> <laughs> Who's Kerry? <laughs> <laughs> One, two for one. Carry and Tara. <laughs> I'll start again. <laughs> having, been en <laughs> having been engaged for almost 10 years, I think you'll all agree, as it's long past time, that Karen and Terry tied the knot. You'll be pleased to know that they are going to do this now, quite literally, with a traditional hand fasting. Throughout history, in many different ways and in many different parts of the world, the hands of the bride and groom were bound as a sign of their commitment to one another. The cords are not permanent, but perishable, as a reminder that all things material eventually returns to the earth, unlike the bond and the connection that is love, which is eternal. This involves tying the strands together to join into one cord, and today this has been achieved with one cord each for the children and one each for Karen and Terry. Ian, would you please bring the cord forward? Karen and Terry, these cords are a symbol of the lives that you have chosen to lead together and represents the maritable bond. They are strong enough to hold you together during times of struggle, yet flexible enough to allow for individuality and personal growth. As your hands are bound together by these cords, so shall your lives be bound together. You will forever be one as the cord of four strands is not quickly broken. Don't forget to untie them. <laughs> <laughs> Allow these words taken from an ancient Celtic blessing to guide your lives. May you know nothing but happiness from this day forward. May the hand of a friend always be near. May the road rise up to meet you, and may the wind be always at your back. May the warm rays of the sun fall upon you, and may green be the grass you walk on, and blue be the skies above you. May pure be the joys that surround you, and true be your hearts that love. This is the point in the ceremony when I usually talk about the wedding bands being a perfect circle having no beginning and no end. But we all know that these rings do have a beginning. Rock is dug up from the earth. Metal is liquefied in a furnace at 1,000 degrees. Hot metal is poured into a mould, cooled and then painstakingly polished. Something beautiful is made from raw elements, and love is like that. It can, at times, be hot, dirty work. It comes from humble beginnings made by imperfect beings. It's the process of making something beautiful where there was once nothing at all. 
Now, knowing this couple, there is, of course, a tale to tell about these wedding rings. Ever since the engagement, Karen had dreamed of having a particular ring sitting on the third finger of her left hand. Unfortunately, that meant travelling to Sydney. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> Lucky Karen, despite any qualms he may have had about his dwindling wedding-related bank balance, Terry happily took his delighted fiance to Australia two weeks ago in search of the favoured ring. Karen's first ever trip across the Tasman proved to be the most wonderful four days together without the children. <laughs> first time ever for mum and dad who said, sorry Phoenix and Rainbow, we did think of you a lot while we were away, but not all the time. A succession of romantic dinners, mighty good massages in the spa, watching the Australia Day fireworks from the Sydney Opera House while sipping chilled champagne, meeting a cuddly koala at the zoo, bursting into happy tears at the sight of a tiger. That was Karen, of course, definitely not our manly Terry. Plus, so much else besides made this trip one unique and very special journey together. Their wedding rings will, from now on, not only hold the precious memories of today, the day they exchange them, but also memories of the lovely time spent as a devoted couple who left New Zealand for the first time in almost 10 years in order to buy them. All made possible with huge hugs and much love from Karen and Terry to Teresa and David, who got to enjoy a wonderful long weekend doing all the special things grandparents love to do with their grandchildren. Terry and Karen, the promises which you have spoken to each other today are inscribed forever in your minds and in your hearts. But words are fleeting, and so those who marry wear rings as visible symbols of their commitment to one another. They are a reminder and a celebration of the promises you have made today, and in exchanging these bands, you knit your two lives together as one. And so I ask, what token of your devotion do you offer to each other? A wedding ring. Phoenix, could you bring forward the first ring? May these rings be blessed as the symbol of this affectionate union between these two people. Being an unbroken circle of love, they signify that your love freely given has no beginning and no end, for each of you is the giver and the receiver. May these rings you exchange today always remind you of your vows taken here, as their pure metal speaks of the purity of your love, loyalty, and respect. Terry, would you place the ring on Karen's finger and repeat after me? Karen, I give you this ring as a sign of my love. Karen, I give you this ring as a sign of my love. A symbol of the promises I have made today. As a symbol of the promises I have made today. And as a sign of my commitment. And as a sign of my commitment. To spend the rest of my life with you. To spend the rest of my life with you. I choose you today and always as I my... He's in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> I choose you today and always as my friend, my lover and my wife. I choose you today and always as my friend, my lover and my wife. And Karen, could you repeat after me? Terry, I accept your ring. Terry, I accept your ring. Knowing it is given with all your love. Knowing it is given with all your love. Okay. Karen, would you repeat after me? Terry, I give you this ring. Terry, I give you this ring. As a token of my devotion and love. As a token of my devotion and love. And with my heart, I promise you. And with my heart, I promise you. All that I have and all that I am. All that I have and all that I am. With this ring, I marry you. With this ring, I marry you. And join my life to yours. And join my life to yours. Ouch. And, <laughs> and Terry. Karen, I accept your ring. Karen, I accept your ring. As a symbol of your love and trust. As a symbol of your love and trust. Thank you. Today, your rings are shining and bright, looking as they are now, as good as new. 
like your love. They may take knocks over the years and may not always look as shiny and new as they are today. But just look on the inside and you will always find they have remained bright and glowing. Throughout your life, when times get tough, may you always look for and find the love you share today. And may your wedding rings always remind you of this love. Let them be a symbol of the eternal commitment that you have made together. I was going to ask them to hold hands, but they haven't let go, so I don't need to. <laughs> These are the hands that tentatively reached out to hold you on your first date. These are the hands that you hold now and hold the promise of love for today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you continue to build your family and your future. These are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. As you go forward in life together, these hands will change, but it is our wish for you that your relationship remains like the rings on your fingers, always pure, shining, strong and precious. Terry and Karen, I encourage you to continue building your life with the same values you have each received from your own families. This will ensure your children will grow to know love, respect and compassion while living with the fun and laughter that comes from being a valued member of any family, family circle. The vows you have exchanged today will always remind you of the respect, trust, loyalty that you hold sacred for each other and the love that exists between you both will also give those you love a feeling of joy and fulfillment. Remember always to celebrate your love, your life, and your family. A pop popular quote, and then my soul saw you, and it kind of went, oh there you are, I've been looking for you, can be likened to the day destiny reshaped Terry and Karen's lives when he walked past two lovely girls out for a drink. The stars and the moon aligned that night and each quickly proved to be the key to the other's future happiness. And so with the authority granted to me, Terry and Karen, it is now my pleasure to pronounce your husband and wife. May you live happily and in love, not only in this lifetime, but for all eternity. And what the gods have joined together, let no man put asunder. Terry, you've waited a long time to kiss your bride. Can we get drunk now? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if I could just ask you to remain where you are for a few minutes while we sign the documents with Phoenix and Darren, please. <laughs> Your legs, like. <laughs> 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 Thank you all right? Yes. All right. So, you, oh. okay, so we need our little bride first. Yes. Darren. Oh. You've done it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. Hello, sweetheart. so lovely to see you. Yeah. Yeah. What do you need me to do? It's all right. <laughs> this table does for all, so be careful. Okay. Okay. okay, now Karen, I need you to sign above where it says bride. Yeah. Have I got bride? Don't yeah, sign yeah. the wrong one, I'm not married. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> does it matter what name I sign? You have to sign in your legal name. You're right. I have to sign with him. You have to sign with him. Oh, no, it doesn't matter that I'm not New Zealand citizen, does it? No. Down, you? On here? Yeah. I meant to ask you the other day. Well, it would have been nice if you asked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, right. We asked for all the details, but forgot to ask you to witness. No, that's... Yeah. Well, I, I did try and phone you today, and then I just... Your dress is amazing. 
in that seriously it's amazing brilliant Tibbets Williams Rainbow you cried didn't you huh nearly very I was I was I was holding it back big time yeah did you enjoy that you having fun are you going to do it again no Ladies and gentlemen. In a minute, in a minute, you just walk down the aisle with Phoenix. Excuse me, everyone. In a minute. In a second, the lady's going to say something. <laughs> Would you please raise your glasses and join me in congratulating Karen and Terry, Mr. and Mrs. Tibbetts. <laughs> And feel free to use your petals as they walk down the aisle. Are you ready? Go on then, flower come on. girl. You ready? Do your thing. We're going. Go Let's on then. Come on, I'll come with you. <laughs> throw the flowers. You've got to throw the petals. <laughs> come on then. <laughs> All right, you go. <laughs> Yay! Here we go. Should we just go? Come on then. Are you going to go first, darling? Come on, you go first. Yeah. All right, we'll go. Come on. Yay. <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers. Thank you. Yes. Yay. Where do we go? Can we just we walk out here? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. Coffee. You've got the petals on your head. 